Hey everybody, here's that review I promised you on, the new LG Rumor Touch from Sprint. Sorry that it took me so long, but I've been trying to upload it, and I guess there's a limit on how long you can have your videos. So I'm going to try to cover everything in about, um, five, I guess you can record up to like nine or ten minutes, so. Um, um, we'll go ahead and look around the phone so you can get a full view. Um, this is the new LG Rumor Touch from Sprint, um, that they offer. It's, uh, just like the Rumor 1 and 2, just about. Besides, it now order or not orders. It now comes with the full. It's always had the full QWERTY keyboard, but now it has a full touch screen. Well, the old ones never had a touch screen at all. But anyway, so now it has a touch screen instead of having you know the buttons on it. And this phone also offers bubbles. So when you receive notifications, they come as bubbles. There you go. So, and if you want to, like, see what that bubble says or what your alert is, you just click hit it with your finger. Let's see where it went. And then it brings up your text message. If it's a missed call, it gives you the option to either send a message or call back. And there's other things I'm pretty sure you can do. Um, when you hit the talk button, I don't know if you'd really consider it a talk button, but it brings you to the phone option. Um, you see your basic dialing pad. Um, it's very responsive. I think this phone is way better than um, the Samsung um, Instinct, which I've had the Instinct uh, S30. Had. I've had quite a few replacements. Um, the day you receive it, I'm pretty sure it's going to freeze. And this phone, it has not frozen on me. Not yet. And I've been using it for about, let's see, it came out, I think, last Sunday. I've received it on Tuesday, so just about over a week. And it has not froze on me, not once. Um, this phone does offer T9 for those that like the T9 text. Um, on your main menu, you hit the home. When you hit the home button, it brings you to a main menu that you can create and customize for yourself. Um, you can add or remove things. It's much like the uh, Instinct. Um, it has a social networking. You hit that. It's got a MySpace, Facebook, Twitter. Um, we'll do a quick uh, glance at the Facebook. It's a Java application. It's not like it's opening up you up to a website, um, but it is using your internet. And no, on this phone, you do not have to have the everything data or any type of internet package like that. But if you like to, you know, do this kind of stuff, it's recommended. Um, so you can just have your basic plan. Um, when you open it, it takes you to, you know, the basic Facebook application. So this is an application directly in your phone. It's not like a web page or anything that you're opening up, you know, that you're probably used to going when you're going on a, a mobile uh, Facebook or MySpace. But we're not really going to go into the MySpace one because it's basically the same, just a little bit of a different layout. So I want to go back to the phone app, the phone app part of the phone. Um, it's now featuring the Hello, where it says Hello at the bottom of the screen. This is the no, the new Hello UI, the he, I think it's called Hello UI, that's what it is, not Hello UIN. It's the new Hello UI interface. Um, you can basically customize and add people in here, like speed dials, if you hit them. Sorry, my screen blinked, I have it set for a short time, so the battery lasts a while. You hit that person. I have my mom set. It brings you up to a little circle with their picture in it where it says um, the main mint. It's like a little option. It gives you option to message if you want to delete them off your little thing. Um, it also, it, it changes to the, like right now the layout is kind of springish, but it changes to the different um, seasons and stuff. So now that it's spring, it's going to have um, spring, uh, spring ba ugh, background and things like that. Um, these little butterflies on the side, let's see if I can get this to focus, right there, these butterflies on the side are different groups. Sorry, I'm trying to select it without like really looking at the screen. And you just hit the butterfly, it brings you different groups, so you could have a group for family members, um, co-workers, and things like that. So we'll go back into the home. This phone does have Sprint TV, which is actually pretty good, GPS, family locator, and things like that. It sports a 2.0 megapixel camera which does take decent pictures. It also allows you to edit photos. This phone and the Rumor 2 also allows you to edit photos after they've already taken. 
So if you want to do um, crazy animations, things like making your nose big or your neck big, it also it does this directly into the phone. So it's like you don't really have to use photo, whatever they are called, where you edit your pictures and things like that. Um, but you can do it before. You can have it set up so when you take the picture, like if you want to have it as a negative or black and white um, background, you can do that before, or you can do it after, which is nice, and it lets you do things like editing and certain, you know, good things like that. It does have video, so we're back. The rumor two did not have video, but the rumor one did. So if you want to get the new rumor, this has got video. Um, this is one of the photos um, I did some special editing to. Um, this is just some random pictures I took. Um, but yeah, it it's showing you, you know, I'm just trying to show you how that the quality is pretty good. The phone's very speedy. It, it works pretty fast. I mean, this is a great phone. Um, let's see. I think it's called Embrace or something. Embrace or anyways, it's just the way that it's printed on there. The picture is, and this is you know what I did with that editing tool that it has on there. Um, we'll do a little quick test of the Sprint Web so we're starting to run out of time so it's got the 3G, it's actually pretty fast believe it or not it might be a little slow now because I, I have different things you know loading up there. Um, I'll type in Google it's pretty basic so we can see how fast you know that will load Boom, and it's there. That Google. Um, we won't really won't spend too much time in that, but the internet's pretty it's your basic web browser for a mobile phone. Um let's try to hit the entertainment. It's got the Sprint TV, games, music. We'll go in music super quick. It's loading. The phone does come with a 1 gig uh, memory card, which I forgot to mention. I've probably mentioned it in my unboxing. But it comes with a 1 gigabyte memory card, so you can add music. I I placed my own 2 in, two gig in there. I think it's a 2. But the phone's pretty loud. Here, let's see if we can get that in there. Yeah, so it's pretty basic. Um, when you turn the phone on and off, or if you want to just, you know, when your phone, it does do that lock screen. There is no way to take it off that I have found yet. If there is somebody, please correct me. But um, you just slide your finger. It's pretty simple. If you want to use the side, there's a side to unlock it. You can push and hold it for three seconds, and it'll come off. Or you can just push it on the side and then slide. So, um... I've basically covered everything pretty much. I can show you a quick glance at the T9 texting on here. This is what your, um, it also does, you know, just if you want to, the, I think it's one, two, three, the nine key where you just keep pushing it till you get what you want. But, you know, this is, it's called predictive in here. It's not the actual T9. But I'll say hi. How, here, how are you? And there it is. Uh, let's see if we can get that camera to focus in there. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty fast. Um, everything on this phone is just great. I'd rate the the phone um a nine out of ten just because you know basic things. The screen does kind of scratch a little easy, so you want to make sure that you put a screen protector over it. But it also has a side where you can put your regular headphone jack, so which is great when you want to listen to your phone use it like an iPod. So um, this has been the review on the LG Rumor Touch. Um, if you guys want another review or a, something that I didn't cover and you'd like me to cover, just comment the video. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, and I'll make more. Thanks.